That means she's calling to her gym for help. Right. Okay. Okay, so now show us how you diagnose what's going on here. Um Okay, it's not to use the fine focus. And it might take a fair amount there, but it'll come into focus. Okay, there it is, crushed now, and it's a little over. <laughs> so you might think that this is like not a successful thing because it looks sloppy. It's great. You've got all the information you need so on this slide. This is the area you want to look at, and then you can see right here there is um, what did you call them? The shoulders. One of the one of the branches. It's the, the, it's a type of uh, osteoscore which is called the cellex. Okay, so G so at this point, Amy says this is going to be genus Phylactinia. Because we could see the appendages coming out, and if you look at the station that we were at, there's all sorts of different types. And when we uh, zoomed in on it here, um, we uh, or magnified it, <laughs> um, you could see you could see right in here that these are uh, this is a cluster, a grouping of the ASCII. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. And um, they have, they're undergoing the meiosis at the moment, so you can see that they're all sort of starting to change right here. You can see them all sort of doing their thing. And that's how you can identify it as the phylactinium. is with this neat little shoulder here, which actually looks a lot like uh, wild ginger, the flowers I come to them. My tattoo. Um, but yeah, it looks really neat. <laughs> A little plug for us and Sam. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it was really neat. And uh, the stain works really well to see it undergoing meiosis. Okay, so the same technique you've been doing since the beginning of the year in terms of just making a mount in a stain, okay, and scraping it off, getting it stuck onto the probe and the, the surface tension on a bit of water, mounting it on here, and even though it looks sloppy, you've got the two diagnostic criteria you need to get it to the genus within the powdery mildew group. Okay. By looking at the types of the appendages on the Clystothecia, this one has a swollen knuckle, like where it joins the, under the Clystothecium body itself, and inside we have a cluster of that Okay, and that's what this is going to be, and there the spore is starting to develop. What happens is the Clystothecium is on the leaf, these are the appendages, as it dries out, the appendages shrink up like this, and it breaks it open like this, and that's how it's going to release the spore since it's got no hole in it. Okay? Now, you also looked at uh, birch leaf, and on the birch